Hi, I'm Professor Birdwell, and welcome to the introduction module for the graphics instruction and sketching tutorials. We're going to be introducing three main types of sketches that you'll be using primarily during conveying your ideas in your class. There's, these are the orthographic multi-view, the isometric, and the oblique. To help me introduce these are Professor Paul Specht, and hi. Uh, these are the basic drawing uh, formats you'll be using, as Professor Birdwell has said. The first, uh, uh, let me say these all have a history to them. We're not going to go into that except to say orthographic multi-view is perhaps the oldest of, of all of them. Uh, it's a means by which you can show on a two-dimensional surface a three-dimensional object, say in this case a, a small wooden truck. Well, here is a drawing of this small wooden truck in, in three views. You might have more, you might have less. Uh, it depends on the object. In this case, three views are quite adequate. <coughs> uh, this is the kind of view that would uh, 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 multi-view uh, are used for dimensioning and uh, uh, notations for information regarding how to make this, what size, and so forth. As you can see with the multi-view, though, clearly we're dealing with two-dimensional information. The, the easiest way to take and make a three-dimensional sketch, though, using the information from the multi-view is to take the front view that's shown there, start with that, and then extend off the third dimension at 45 degrees, as we've done here with these blue lines. And then you can create the oblique with this three-dimensional view building directly off of your front view. The problem with the oblique, as you can see here, is that this third view is clearly distorted. So you cannot measure dimensions off of three axes. All right? If you do need a more precise way to measure three-dimensional sketch, you'll want to use the isometric. An isometric is, uh, as in the case of the oblique, driven by dimension. All three dimensions are critical for multi-view, for isometric, and oblique as well. Well, in terms of isometric, which means uh, uh, equal measure, uh, it says that if I have a height on a multi-view or that my idea is that it is this high, I can put it over here. Uh, if it's this long, I can put that over here. Uh, how wide? I can measure it here. Equal measure, three axes, X, Y, and Z. Uh, and when that happens, it says that anything I might add to this and draw in here, for example, in the isometric, I might say, well, I'd like to see a circle here for a window. Well, I draw it here, but I don't have one on the multi-view. I can measure here, take that dimension, put over here, and the, 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 the two views are congruent. The point I would want to really emphasize is that this is sort of a back and forth proposition between isometric and orthographic, often to oblique as well, depending on the size and the, the complexity of the object. Basically, you'll find yourself doing more isometric than you will orthographic or, or oblique. Uh, many students feel oblique is uh, the easiest. Actually, it's not because of the, uh, the distortions that are involved. Isometric is your way to go. That's right, and when you're conveying ideas, this, this is going to be the primary way of conveying those ideas using the isometric and the multi-view together, not just one or the other. Now, this is the introduction module. There will be several more video modules in this series, each of which shows you in detail how to go through and construct each one of these types of sketches along with doing dimensions as well as doing perspective drawings which we've not shown you here. So when you watch those video modules, please have pencil and paper in hand ready to follow along while watching it. Don't just watch it by yourself and expect to get everything out of it. It's best if you follow it along while watching and do it yourself. Thank you. Thank you.